involved in last year because I found it very interesting the way the debate played out. You wrote an op-ed uh, for Market Watch yes. uh, a year ago, actually, in which you said that the American flag no longer represents democracy and freedom. You wanted it changed. Why? Well, I, I just think that uh, it's it's a, it's a it's like in a, in a general thing. It's just a new day. It's just time day, you know. Reboot the Constitution, the flag, all the all the old standards, you know, that that our, our ancestors lived by, you know, were right for it for the time they lived in, but we're in a different time, you know. So, um, so the flag is, uh, so in, in the States, you know, to me, what the States do best is diversity, is culture, you know what I mean? Without culture in America, you really don't have much going on. You know, you have, you know, I don't know, Amazon, like, what do you have if you don't have color in the States, right? I mean, I agree with that. What I would yeah. say to you is, though, that it's such a divisive issue, things like the flag. Do you not think there's a danger? But I'm interested in what, how you feel a year on from that debate. You got hammered, obviously, by a lot of people. A lot of Americans were outraged. Others thought you raised an interesting point. In a way, it wasn't that dissimilar to what Colin Kaepernick went through with the protests that he was doing. Some agreed with him. Others were furious. Do you have any regrets about the, what you said about the flag? No, in fact, I'm excited to bring it up again. because I, I think it's more important now. What, what I want to do is, is more important now. It's just messaging. It's just, it's just like if you, if you. So my idea was to make the stars, the colors of all of us. So there'd be a star representing you, one representing me, one representing everybody in the room, right? So that way you look up to the flag and you feel welcome, you feel included, you feel like you belong there. But why does? Okay, let me play devil's advocate. Yeah. Which is, I think the American flags are fantastic. Flag. I love my flag here too. Yeah. The English flag, the UK flag. I love these flags. To me, they're not about making any kind of diverse point. They're just great flags. And if I was an American, most Americans I've spoken to about this, they say that there are other ways to, to celebrate diversity. Juneteenth is one, right? right? There are other ways to do this. Why go after such a powerful emblem of the United States of America when it causes the whole debate actually a lot of disunity? Whenever the flag was, was, was conceptualized, they they made it based off what was going on during that time, which was a war. That's another thing. We celebrate a flag that represents war. I actually have an American flag on my office wall at yeah. home. Yeah. Why? So I think we've got, a, we've got a bit of racial equality. Do you feel like the taking the knee, which went around the world, and wildfire, especially after George Floyd was killed, do you feel that that all helps, or are these just token things which don't actually make any tangible difference? Um, I, I think it made a lot of people aware. I think when it, when it comes to changing someone's view on race or people, uh, that's that's more than a one event. That's a, that's you know that's growing up. That's parenting. That's where you go to school. That's what neighborhood you live in. There's a lot that goes into how you feel about people that aren't like you. You know what I mean? Do, do you feel that America is more or less racist than when you grew up? It's definitely not as bad. You know. Uh, I was born in the 60s, so I don't understand racism, to be honest with you. I, I, like, I get, like, I'm sitting here with you, and we're different, you know what I mean? And there might be things that I, I, would be, I wouldn't want to say in front of you that I might say in front of my friends of color and vice versa. But, like, to hate someone or want to kill someone or hold somebody down because of what they look like, I don't, I don't understand. I mean, I completely agree. I, yeah. think, I think most people would completely agree with that. Yeah. I do think racism is a, is a minority, fortunately, in almost every country, particularly America and Britain. I don't think it's by any means a popular thing, but it exists. And it's, the, it's what's the best way to tackle it? What's the best way to get rid of it? You have to let go of uh, needing to be better than, than everyone else. You have to let go of, of, of your hang-ups about slavery. You have to let go of your hang-ups about superiority. You have to... You know, it's, a, it's very personal how you feel about other people. You know? Like, we can have a conversation about how you feel about women, you know? And there, there would be so many things that, that went into that, you know? I mean, we're in an era now, basically, where you can't... Yeah. Most public figures are too terrified to even say what they think a woman is. I know! I mean, what, if I asked you what a woman is, what would you say? I would say uh, a human being with uh, boobs. <laughs> you have to start there. Yeah, I mean, the yeah. dictionary is quite straightforward. It just says a human and an adult female, yeah. right? No, a lot of people... Yeah, see, that's... Now, that's a little getting confusing. The whole 
that and I'm not that. sure why really it's a, it's a bit like this whole issue of, of transgenders in sport I, I, can, I support all trans rights to fairness and equality Me too. but not where you have people born to obvious physical superior bodies Me too. transitioning and then thrashing the women at their sport I totally agree and I, I will say this and everybody's going to hate me but as a woman just because you go change your parts doesn't make you a woman Right. sorry but as a woman just because you go change your parts doesn't make you a woman. Right. Sorry. You feel that? I know that for a fact. Mm. Like, if you want me to call you a her, I will, because that's what you want. But that doesn't make you a woman just because I call you a her. I just because you got a surgery. Because people do feel, feel that you, there's biological sex and then there's gender identity that you right. can identify as women as whatever you like you in terms of agenda, right? Yeah. That's totally. the freedom we live in. Absolutely. But actually, you can't change the mechanics of biological sex. They are what they are. Well, just every, like women go through just a, a completely unique experience and, and, and surgery or, or, you know, finding yourself doesn't doesn't change that. You know, being a, a little girl is, is a whole epic book, you know, and, and you can't, you can't have that just because you want to be a woman. I mean, you know that you when, when people like J.K. Rowling have said this, mm -hmm. they get attacked, they get abused. Yeah. The cancel culture mob comes from me. She gets, called, she gets called transphobic and so on. You might get the same for saying it. But it's the truth. I'm not, I, and, I, and, the, and, 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 and I don't think you should be called transphobic just because you don't agree with, you know, I, I just, there's a lot of, you know, judgment and throwing you know, stones at people for, for just saying what it is, you know what I mean?